Good evening, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for coming out this evening. My name is Greg Schuster. I'm the Township Manager. I'd like to welcome everyone. Uh, today was a great day. We welcome in some new supervisors. I want to say a big thank you to everyone that served in the past as a supervisor, those that have chosen to run as supervisor, and those that have been elected, and look forward to working with all of them. Uh, running for office is a sacred task, and we should all give our thanks to those that have thrown their hat in the ring and are willing to serve. And with that, I'd like to invite up our first, uh, first uh, electee, and that would be Ken Hayes for the Office of Township Supervisor. <laughs> and Mr. Hayes will be sworn in by the Honorable Dan Finello. Uh, yeah. well, doesn't he look short? Anyway, once again, as I've said many times, this is the, one of the best and most fun part of my jobs. You know, I know it was down to like Mr. McKee and Mrs. Fresh Couture tonight. I did suggest earlier today maybe not swear anybody in and let Mark and Kathy do a two or three wrestling match to see, <laughs> to see who's chairman, but I'd lose. They, they, <laughs> they didn't want to do that. So here we are. Uh, I'm about ready to swear on my good friend Ken Hayes. Ken's a great guy. He understands working people, which there's a lot of in Warminster. He's a small businessman. He understands small business, and, he, and there's a lot of them in Warminster, both small business people and small business owners. So under, his, under, under the stewardship of, uh, of this board, okay, he'll be mindful of all the citizens' needs. And I know Ken's going to do a great job because all of them, if they, if they do as good a job as they did campaigning, it's going to be a few nice years coming up. Okay, so here you go, Mason. You got to come over here. Okay, hold that. Okay, you can hold it a little higher up for Grandpa there. Okay, all right. Okay. Mr. Hayes, are you prepared to take the oath of office? I am. Okay, place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. And repeat after me. I, Kenneth Hayes. I, Kenneth Hayes. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I shall support, obey, and defend. That I shall support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And I shall faithfully discharge. And I shall faithfully discharge. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations. Next, we would like to welcome up Judy Hoover for the Office of Township Supervisor. Oh, you have your own. Okay. Oh, we have our own. Nice blue cover. I've known Miss Ms. Hoover for quite a year. I got to call her Judy because she said my core Miss Hoover. That's her mother or whatever she says. <laughs> but, you know, I first met her when I became the judge and I couldn't be a committee man anymore. So Mrs. Finello found Mrs. Hoover and Judy, and, uh, and they worked well together. I always get my ballot from either one of them. Although I'm usually told what to do before I get there, but <laughs> and but it's it's great to see a a, a, a a person from the neighborhood. I don't know if anybody knows this. I know Mrs. Loftus probably does, but there's America's tax collector. <laughs> but there's been quite a few elected officials that have come out of District 15, and it's probably one of the smallest districts in the uh, in in the township so i don't know whether it's the wood or what it is okay but you know it seems to have a pension for manufacturing good candidates so ms hoover 
Are you prepared to take the oath of office? Yes, I am. Okay. I, Judy Hoover. I, Judy Hoover. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I shall support, obey, and defend. That I shall support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And that I shall faithfully discharge. And that I shall faithfully discharge. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> and now we'd like to invite up Mary Owens for the office of Township Auditor. Okay, there you go. Because I'm only allowed to come to nonpartisan events and you know, special things and not be involved in politics due to the judicial canons, I just met Mary now and again, you know, this, you know, this year. But what I do know about her is she has a solid family, okay? Planned a wedding while she was running for office. Okay, and I do know that She's kind of my sister because she's a business agent for United Food and Commercial Workers Union, and I was a member of that union when it was the retail clerks 1357. So, <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago. But, you know, she's going, she, she's going to uh, take this knowledge, and she's going to be great in, 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 in this public office, and we wish her well, and she has her beautiful family, and who's this guy? My husband, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> <You're just not. laughs> That's good. And you're already holding the Bible. <laughs> okay, Ms. Owens, are you prepared to take the oath of office for auditor? Yes, I am. Okay. I, Mary Owens. I, Mary Owens. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I shall support, obey, and defend. That I shall support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United and States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And I shall faithfully discharge. And I shall faithfully discharge. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, thank you. We do anticipate a few more uh, people being appointed and sworn in during the business meeting, which will occur in a few minutes. But right now, uh, we're going to close this portion, and the reorganization meeting will begin in a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hayes. You bang the gavel once, you call it to order. Call this meeting to order. Uh, I'd like to start with the uh, like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. If we all could please stand. Ms. Frescatore, would you like to lead? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, please remain standing for a moment of silence for people serving overseas and our fallen people. I'd also like to um, mention that uh, we'd like to take this time to recognize former Congressman Michael Fitzpatrick, uh, who passed away this morning. Uh, we express our condolences to his wife Kathleen, their children, and his brother um, Brian Fitzpatrick, Representative Brian Fitzpatrick. Uh, Michael Fitzpatrick served our county honorably for 10 years as county commissioner and then for eight years in Washington, D.C. as our uh, representative in the House of Representatives. And uh, Congressman Fitzpatrick's career as a public servant was marked by respect, congeniality, and bipartisanship. Uh, also like to uh, express our condolences to Mike Crispiro, Crispino, uh, the owner of Altamonte's Italian Market who uh, I believe passed Mark this weekend. She had New Year's Day. Oh. New Year's Day. Um, our, our condolences go out to his family as well. So uh, if you will, a moment of silence, please. Okay. 
Thank you very much. So at this time, I would like to um, thank the outgoing Board of Supervisors, um, one of which is here tonight, um, for their service. Um, this is not an easy position to be in, sometimes thankless. Uh, matter of fact, most of the time probably thankless. Um, but anyway, we, I'd like to uh, express our uh, sincere gratitude for their service. And um, Mr. Monroe, you're here. We have something for you. If you could step up, please. So Mr. Monroe uh, was, a board of super was on the Board of Supervisors, served our community for over six years, or close to six years, or you served our community? Board. Yes. Um, and we'd like to present this plaque to you that I will take out of the plastic. <coughs> um, it just says, uh, presented to Brian Monroe of Warminster Township in recognition of his over six years of service to the Warminster community as a member of the Board of Supervisors and as a public servant, serviceman, police officer, husband, father, and Warminster resident for over 15 years. So, to you, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Never hand a politician a mic. Uh, thank you, uh, Ken. Is this still on? Okay. Thank you, Ken, uh, very much for this, and to the Board of Supervisors and all the new electeds. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I, uh, I just wanted to say for a moment for every person uh, that supported me, uh, that even voted for me uh, over the course of these last several years, I really appreciate it. I'm, gonna, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I'm going to be continuing to serve. I am, in fact, I started uh, at the clerk of courts uh, up at the courthouse today, and they put me right to work right after I got sworn in. Uh, a lot of signatures and, and, uh, and uh, like I said, a lot of work. So they put me right to work. Um, and I just want to say, like, the, from the first time I ran back in 20, uh, I think it was 13, and I wasn't successful uh, in 2013 for supervisor, um, even though I didn't win then, uh, and I realized that, like, all my neighbors uh, in my home district, you know, voted for me, and I won it overwhelmingly, you know, it, it, those are your neighbors that elect you, um, and it just touches your heart, and I really do... Uh, I don't take any vote for granted. I appreciate every single uh, thing that this community has given to me. And like I said, I'm not going anywhere. So thank you very much, everybody. I have a cold. Hair looks good, buddy. <laughs> Forget what I said about them chicks falling all over you with the ball stuff. It's all over now. <laughs> All right, so now we'll move on. Um, so we're going to uh, have public comment uh, on agenda items only. And um, bear in mind, please, that there's no public comment during the meeting, during the reorganization meeting. So um, we'll open the floor to, to public comment. Please state your name and full address uh, if you have anything to say. Being as there's none, uh, we'll move on to the election of officers. Uh, first on the agenda would be the election of the chair of the Board of Supervisors. Uh, is there a, a nominee? Uh, yes, um, Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion uh, to nominate Mr. Kenneth Hayes. It is my honor and privilege to nominate him for chair he is a licensed hydrogeologist, and I feel he is the right person to get us through the difficult times that we face ahead. Okay. Um, so, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there a second on the motion? I, I don't, you don't think you have to second? Second that. Huh? Is that correct? Uh, you don't have to second it. You should ask for if there's other nominations. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. So, we will open up to other nominations. <laughs> Is there any other nominations? Um, 
Being as there's none, then we'll take the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Chair votes aye. Congratulations. Congratulations. Guys. Thank you. All right, so moving on, we'll have the election of the vice chair of the board. And um, I believe I would like the honor of nominating Kathy Frescator. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, call the vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda um, will be, um, I will, um, Mr. Schuster, did we, um, we're going to appoint other elected officials at this point? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, I can verify for the board and for the public that we did in recent uh, days receive three resignations. The first resignation was from Mr. Monroe, who you just uh, honored. Um, his resignation was effective January 6th today at 9 a.m. Uh, we did also receive a resignation from Ms. Hoover, uh, from her position as township auditor. That was effective 6.40 p.m. today, January 6, 2020. <laughs> and finally, we also received a resignation from Mary Owens, resigning her position as township auditor at 7 p.m. today, uh, January 6, 2020. <laughs> all, all three of those resignations were duly received and positions are vacant. Mary, that might be the briefest stint as township auditor. That might make four minutes for history there. We'll have to mark that for the archives. <clears throat> All right. So I guess the next order will be the uh, appointment of township officials. And um, do we have a uh, nomination for supervisor? Yes, I would like to nominate Mary Owens for supervisor. Uh, for this one, we need a second. Uh, yes. It's a motion, that. yes. Okay, seconded by Kathy. Um, any other nominations? Being as there's none, uh, we can call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Chair votes aye. Congratulations. Congratulations yes, I will. Uh, well, no, no, do no, do no, the no. auditors no. and you'll do all the swearing. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, next uh, would be the um, position of auditor. Yes, I would like to nominate Pat Boyle for Township Auditor. I'd like to second that. And just to clarify, that is for the position formerly held by Judy Hoover, correct? Yes. Thank you. So would we um, just one at a time? Yep. Okay. Okay, are there any other uh, nominations? Okay, seeing none. Um, Call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Congratulations, Congratulations. Pat. Congratulations. Congratulations, Pat. <laughs> okay, so there is another position, uh, auditor position, that's vacant right now, and um, I would like the honor of nominating uh, Lena Chero, and I believe this is for a six-year term? This is for the term formerly held by Mary Ellen, a six-year term, yes. Okay. <laughs> are there any other, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, are there any other? I'll second it. Second. <laughs> Any other nominations? Okay. Pull the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Congratulations. Congratulations. <clears throat> Excuse me. So at this point, um, we'll ask the Honorable um, Judge Daniel Finello to come up and work his magic once again and <laughs> swear in our newly appointed officials. Just to be serious for a moment, you mentioned the passing of my good friend Mike Grispino. I just want to acknowledge that Mike Grispino and his wife Frances are the uncle of one of our police officers, Danny Laparacci. And Danny's a fine guy, as are the Grispino children of Mike and Frances. And, you know, it just runs through that family. They're, they're just good, good people. And it was so upsetting when I found out that Mike passed. So pray for them. Okay, so Mary, you know, after your big stunt is, stunt is auditor, you want to come <laughs> up here? 
<laughs> you want to bring your husband again? Or your <laughs> yeah, he's back. You got your own Bible. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm only going to give you one souvenir, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but like, and I'm not going to go through your spiel, but, you know, I will say that, you know, Mary, with her background and, you know, her knowledge of the community, <coughs> This will be a great addition. They made a great pick, and uh, I appreciate that as you know, as a, as a resident here. Okay, so for the second time, Ms. Owens, <laughs> are you prepared to take the oath of office for supervisor? Yes, I am. I'm Mary Owens. I'm Mary Owens. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I shall support, obey, and defend. That I shall support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And I shall faithfully discharge. And I shall faithfully discharge. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, that's my little sister Mary. Your little sister. Yes. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Honest, I remember when she was born. It looks like little sister Pat to me. Everybody, everybody in the family saw Is that right? Yes, everybody. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I, I shouldn't talk. So. <laughs> anyway, you know, I've known Pat for a number of years. She's another United Food and Commercial Worker alumni. Okay, so that's probably the most represented group here tonight. Okay, beating out the drywall finishers by one. Well, no, actually, it's actually it's two. It's actually tied. I forgot about Kenny. <laughs> okay, and P Pat's very active in the community. She volunteers a lot of stuff. She's most proud that she's secretary to William Tennant Alumni Association, and I can understand that being a proud alumni of the, the other place. Go Panthers. <laughs> and. Uh, She's going to be a good auditor, okay? It you know, has limited jurisdiction, but I'm sure if Pat doesn't see something that's kosher, she'll, uh, she'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ms. Boyle, are you prepared to take the oath of office? Yes, I am. I, Pat Mertens Boyle. I, Patricia Mertens Boyle. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I shall support, obey, and defend. That I shall support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And I shall faithfully discharge. And I shall faithfully discharge. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> And where's Lena at? Come on up. <laughs> like I said, I have a limited capacity to come out and play with political stuff. But I just happen to know Lena from my day job. Lena is the legal secretary for attorney Sarah Webster in Doylestown. And once in a while I talk to her, but most of the time my staff won't let me talk to her. But I will tell you one thing, you know, that's an efficient law office and it has, you know, has probably a lot to do with Lena. Because, you know, judges and lawyers, if they didn't have the people who were working for them, they, they, you know, wouldn't be able to do anything probably. <laughs> So, Ms. Chero, are you prepared to take, oh, who's, here's holding the Bible? This is my husband, Francisco. Francisco, okay, nice to see you tonight. Nice to okay, Ms. Chero, are you prepared to take the oath of office? I am. 
I, Lena Chero. I, Lena Chero. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I shall support, obey, and defend. That I shall support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The con Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And I shall faithfully discharge. And I shall faithfully discharge. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, that does it for me again, like I said, the best part of my job, okay, and I'll tell you, I set a new record today for swearing in people. I, Mr. Monroe gave me the privilege of swearing him and his clerk of courts. Ms. Bobrin gave me the pr privilege of swearing her in as, as the Register of Wills, and I just was over in Ivy Land, and my favorite councilman, Chris Finello, was here. <laughs> And I swore five people in there, okay? And then tonight, I thought it was only gonna be three, and it turned out to be six. But you know, Pat, ha I mean, uh, 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 Mary has an asterisk next to her because you know, it was two people. But like I said, I enjoy doing it, and it's a good thing because it was a lot of stuff I had to do today. So everybody have a nice, happy new year. And here's the great government in Warminster. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, at this point, I think we should take a short recess so the newly sworn in people can have a moment to have some photos with their family. My family's like, okay, we're gone now. You're not on, Ken. Ed, can you turn? All right, that's working. Yep, they're working. No. Okay. So we'll continue on with the appointment of township officials. Uh, next in uh, order of business is the appointment of treasurer position. And uh, I would like to nominate Judy Hoover. I would like to second that. I accept. <laughs> Are there any other nominations? Being none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Votes aye. Five nothing. Congratulations. 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 Really? Next will be the appointment of the assistant treasurer. Do we have a nomination? Yes, I would like to. Um, oops, where am I here? <laughs> I'd like to appoint uh, John Macarelli. A second. I'll second. Any other nominations? Uh, seeing none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. Chair votes aye. aye. Motion carries 5 0. Uh, next would be secretary, township secretary. I'd like to nominate Mary Owens. I'd like to second that. Any other nominations? Being none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Assistant Township Secretary, um, I would like to nominate Greg Schuster. I'd like oh. to second that. Any other nominations? Being none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Thank you, Greg. Um, okay, so we'll move on to township solicitor. I would uh, like to uh, make a motion to appoint Randall C. Flager from Flager and Associates for solicitor. And I will second it. Any other? So, any other nominations? Uh, being none, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Uh, I'm a no, Mr. Chairman. J only because of no reflection of Mr. Flagger is in the room tonight. I, I just met him 10 minutes ago. And I, I, I just can't cast a vote for someone that I, I don't know and didn't have a chance to sit down and talk to. So it's no reflection of his capabilities, but I'm, I'm a no. 
duly noted, Mr. McGee, and the chair votes aye, so it passes 4-1. So at this point, we'd like to ask Mr. Flagger if he would take a seat up here at the Okay, we'll continue on. So um, uh, we have um, a position open for alternate council. And um, at this point, I'd like to nominate uh, Russell Sacco from the firm Sacco Law Office. Is there a second? I'll second that, Mr. Chair. Okay, are there any other nominations? Uh, being none, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Yes, again, Mr. Chairman, I, I couldn't pick him out of a lineup, so. Duly noted. I'm an out. Duly noted. Motion carries 4-1. Um, so now we will move to Township Labor Council. I believe that's next in the uh, order of business. Okay, so um, is there a motion to appoint a Labor Council? I'd like to uh, nominate Kyung Ha Grani of Curtin and Hefner. I'll second it. Okay, is there any other nominations? Uh, being none, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? I'm a no, Mr. Chairman. Yes. For, the, for the same, and I don't question their abilities. I understand. I just don't know them. No, I understand. That's been, and duly noted, Mr. McGee. Uh, chair votes aye, passes 4 1. Okay. Township Environmental Council. Um, I've been told that this gentleman is extremely qualified. I, ha I have not met him yet. Um, but I believe that um, once I do meet him, I was told I will be impressed. So. Um, I guess I will uh, nominate Barry Steinberg from Kutak Rock. I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, any other nominations? Okay, being none, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. 5 0. Okay, Township Engineer. To uh, nominate uh, Mr. Craig Kenner from Gilmore and Associates. And I will second that, Mr. Chairman. Okay, is there any other nominations? Being none, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. 5 0. Uh, Township Traffic Engineer. Uh, I would like to nominate James Graham from the firm Carroll Engineering. I'll second. Any other nominations? Okay. Being none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? No. Okay. Chair votes aye. 4 1. Okay. So, um, next position will be the township planner. I'd like to nominate Christopher Fazio. From Remington Vernick? Yes, <laughs> from Remington Vernick. <laughs> okay. Is there a second? I'll second it, Mr. Chair. Okay, is there any other? Being none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Um, no. Chair votes aye. 4 1. Uh, all right, let's see now. The appointment to the vacancy board. Um, I would like to nominate Brian Monroe. I'd like to second that. Is there any other uh, nominations? Any none, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Votes aye. Five uh, Congratulations, Mr. Monroe. We weren't going to get off that easy. Hopefully, we won't need you. Okay. So, um, 
Is there a motion to appoint a member to the Planning Commission for a term of five years? I, I'd like to nominate Mr. Don Gleiter. I'll second that. Any others? Uh, being none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. 5 0. Congratulations, Mr. Glider. All right, where are we going? Zoning Hearing Board. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you do have an alternate member uh, available uh, on the Planning Commission as well. You don't have to fill it, but you do have one available. Okay. We'll skip that table. Right? Motion to table. Motion to table. I'd, I'd like to put, put a name in. The letter that was submitted from Richard Luce, who was a current member, I would like to nominate him for the altar. Okay, is there a second? Um, being as there's no second, this motion doesn't pass. Motion is lost due to a second, yes. Yes, motion is lost due to a second, thank you. Okay, so now zoning hearing board? Correct. Okay. So um, is there a motion to appoint a member to the five-year term on the Zoning Hearing Board? I'd like to nominate Stephen Wojciechowski. I'll second that. Any other nominations? Uh, being none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. 5-0. Um, zoning Hearing Board alternate, um, I would like to nominate Thomas Wanner who currently serves in that um, position for a term of four years. I'll second it. Any others? Seeing none, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Your votes aye, 5-0. Uh, Warminster Municipal Authority Board members, your motion to appoint a member for the five-year term on the Municipal Authority. Well, I'd like to nominate Ken Hayes. I'd like to second that. Okay, at this point, um, I need to recuse myself from this motion, so I will thusly do that. Uh, Ms. Frescatore, you have the chair. Okay. All in favor, any other nominations? Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you very much. Welcome. And the record will show that that passed forward nothing with Mr. Hayes recusing himself. All right, uh, moving along, is there a motion to appoint a member to the library board uh, each for a three year term? I'd like to appoint Stacy Alou. Is there a second? I'll second it. Uh, do we do these all at once? You can do them individually or as a group. It's your choice. Typically, we do them individually. Individually, okay. All right. So, um, any all in favor? We'll have. We'll call the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Votes aye. Is there another nomination for the appointment to the library board? I'd like to uh, nominate Natalie Monroe, and I'll second that. Okay. Uh, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Five Congratulations, votes. Natalie. Congratulations. And Stacy. And Stacy. And Stacy, yes, as well. Um, I do not believe there are any um, letters of intent for the Construction Board of Appeals at this time. Uh, no, that there is. Ken Lorenz, didn't he? It looks like it doesn't list. Yes, I believe we did re receive a letter from Kenneth Lorenz, who wishes to continue on the Construction okay. Board of Appeals. Is there? Um, sure, I'll nominate him. Why not? Okay. I'll second it. Sure. Okay. Um, call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. All right. And, and just to clarify, that was for a five-year term or a four-year term? Uh, it's very hard to get someone to serve on this board, so I'd yeah, lock them so in for as long as, long as you possibly can. Case, <laughs> we will, we'll lock them in for five years. <laughs> and, and there is still one vacancy on, yes. on that board. So there is, there, there is a vacancy there as well. Okay. All right, so Parks and Recreation Advisory Commission. I believe there are four positions for a two-year term. Uh, 
three. Is that correct? There, there are three member positions <coughs> for two-year terms and and three citizen advisor positions for one year term. Uh, however, and we had discussed this, if the board wishes to change the citizen advisory makeup, uh, it certainly uh, can, can do that. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Schuster. Um, so let's go to the, um, the advisory commission, the three positions for a two year term. Uh, that would be Parks and Recreation <coughs> Advisory Committee. Um, do we have any nominations? I'm calling for the advisor. You said citizen advisor, or are these they are the voting members. The voting these members. are the voting members. Yes. Voting members. Right. Okay. And I'd like to nominate Darlene Baker. I'd like to second that. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Aye. Is there another nomination? I'd like to nominate Renee Steckline. I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair aye. votes aye. <laughs> Five zero. <-0. clears throat> Um, I, I'd like to nominate Michelle Myers. Okay. I'll second that. I'll call that question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Five vote. Congratulations to those. And now we go to Parks and Recreation Committee Commission Citizen Advisors. Um, do we wish to appoint four tonight? Yes, Mr. Chair, if that's possible. Okay, then that's something we can do, correct, Mr. Schuster? We can point uh, to that, that is correct. There is some history, which I'm, I'm not going to go into, so I don't want to bore everyone. Uh, we are going to have to clean up the ordinance and everything that established this uh, Park and Rec Committee. Uh, so look for that in the future. But, yes, you can go ahead and make those appointments. We will clean it up uh, in, in future meeting. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Schuster. Thank you very much. Uh, so at this point, I'd like to uh, nominate um, Michael Farris. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Chair votes aye. Five zero. Congratulations, Mike. Thank you. There you are. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. I'd like to nominate David Amato. I'll second that, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Is there a third? I'd like to nominate Dina Niles. Okay. I'll second that, Mr. Chair. All right. Um, so we'll call the question on Dean and Niles. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Five zero. And the fourth member. I'd like to nominate, like to nominate Erica McKee. Okay. I'll second that, please. Okay. I have to ask the solicitor: Have I permitted the vote on this? It is my wife. Well, I think it's going to be four to. It'll be four votes for it, so I don't think you need to vote. I'm going to recuse. I'm going to recuse one. yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, I voted no on that. I'd be going home the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks yeah, for the cover. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry you wanted to. You were chafing at the bid. All right, so we'll get you off the hook, Mark. Thank you. And uh, we'll call the question all in favor. Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Congratulations, 4 0. All right, Golf Advisory Committee. Uh, two positions. Chairman, I'd like to nominate Arthur Schreger. Okay, um, is there a second? So being no second, uh, motion doesn't... Motion's lost. Yes. Lost. Motion is lost. Thank you. Mr. Um, Chairman, I'd like to nominate Elliot Drexler. I'd like to second that. Okay, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Is there another nomination? I'd like to nominate William Felix. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Five vote. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, Golf Advisory Committee Citizen Advisor, two positions for one year terms. Um, have any, a motion to nominate? I'll, I'll nominate Charles Vincelette. I'll second it. Second. Okay, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Is there another? I'd like to nominate Larry Forrest. Second. I'll second it. Okay, uh, call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? Oh, I'm sorry. I was pissed out. I'm an aye. Okay. Chair votes aye. 5 0. Uh, Environmental Advisory Council, um, one position. This is a three year term, and uh, I would like to nominate John McGee. I'll second that, Mr. Chair. Okay. 
Um, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Congratulations, John. And Mr. Chairman, there actually is a another term that was created by um, your resignation uh, for a one-year term. However, I don't have any other letters of people that are interested. So I'll just let everyone know there is another vacancy okay. in that, on that committee. Yes, and there uh, we're going through these just as a uh, a point here we're going through all these appointments but there are other vacant positions and I would encourage anyone in the community that wants to to serve the community I mean these are all every one of these committees and councils has merit and and they're valid and they mean something to the board so I would uh, encourage the citizens of this township to uh, to take a look and um, see how, if you'd like to serve on any of these committees. Okay, <coughs> so moving along. Um, oh. Is there a, um, a nomination for chairperson of the Environmental Advisory Council? Yes, I'd like to nominate Shelley Eilenberg. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay, call a question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Congratulations, Shelley. Uh, Economic Development Committee, citizen members, one position. This is a three-year term. We have a, a motion to appoint one citizen member to the Economic Development Committee. I'd like to nominate Deborah Rossica. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye, 5-0. Uh, Economic Development Committee Citizen Advisor, there's two positions. Um, is there a motion to appoint two citizen advisors to the Economic Development Committee, each for a term of one year? I'd like to nominate Charles Kerper. I'll second that, Mr. Chair. Okay, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Is there another nomination? I'd like to nominate Gregory Archetto. I'll second it. Second. Okay, we'll call that question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. 5 0. Um, do we have any letters for the business members of the Economic Development Committee, Mr. Schuster? Not for business members, no. Okay. So we'll table that for now? Yeah, I'll make a motion someone... that we table that until the next meeting. Okay, motions are. With the citizen. We need a second on that and a vote. Okay. Motion to table. Vote on it if you want. You want to vote on it? You're going to vote on the motion to table? Is what you're saying? It's a motion to table? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes priority. So you mm -hmm. vote on it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So was there a second to, on the motion to table? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Thank you, everyone, and thanks for being patient. This is the first meeting that I'm sitting in this chair, and uh, there's a lot to do. <laughs> so thanks, everyone, for being patient. Okay, Pension Investment Advisory Committee. There's two positions. There's uh, a motion to appoint two members to the Pension Investment Advisory Committee for a term of one year each. I'd like to nominate Amy Sanchez Hamilton. I'll second that. Uh, call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Your votes aye. Is congratulations, there, Amy. Congratulations. Is there another? I'd like to nominate Mr. Frank Feinberg. I'd be glad to second that. Okay, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Your votes aye. Congratulations, Frank. Frank. <laughs> Welcome back, Frank. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> Pension Investment Advisory Committee, three union members. Um, I would like to nominate Ann Duffy. I'll second it. Okay, call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Another, um, is there another nomination? I'd like to nominate John Benargo. I'll second that too. <laughs> okay, call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. 5 oh. and the third? I'd like to nominate Jean Astorito. Okay. I'll second that. All right. Call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. And aye. chair votes aye. Five vote. Congratulations to those. Okay. So, advisory township facilities subcommittee. Uh, there's four members: one from the WMA and three citizens at large for a term of one year. Um, I'd like to nominate Mr. Wayne McCulloch. And I will second that one. 
Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Congratulations, Wayne. Uh, I'd like to nominate Rick Heidick. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. 5 0. Is there a third? Yes, I'd like to uh, nominate Larry Forrest. But that's, is that the so, so representative Larry, from the water? Authority? So Larry Forrest you can put on as a citizen member if you'd like. He was a representative of the WMA. However, the WMA board's going to have to decide who they're going to say. Right. They, they recommend ultimately it's your decision. So if you want to put him in the citizen slot, you certainly can. Um, but he's not on the WMA board anymore. Right. right. Okay. Is there, I, I don't, is I don't there an you, opening for that? Yes. I don't know if what it, I never got a letter one way or another, so I don't know if that's what he wants. Okay. So. So if we appoint him, he could always refuse it, right? Well, I he mean, could. I, 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 you, have you spoken to him? No, I, I haven't. I haven't either. Well, so I would I recommend just leave it vacant. You can okay. do it at the next the meeting. Representative then. from I'll the WMA. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll withdraw that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we need one one appointee from the WMA and you said that they were going to defer to the board so it's your appointment to make but um, I would ask the uh, I would recommend that you ask the WMA to put forth a recommendation from their board great idea That's you know, great and idea. then you could take action at a, at a future meeting yes. on that okay. Okay. and finish up this uh, okay, the, so the we'll appointments table that then. <clears throat> so when we table things do we need to motion to table well, I defer the solicitor but typically I don't you <coughs> really don't need to table things okay. and okay you know all right well we'll just leave them blank for now yeah, we'll leave them blank, that's fine. okay yeah. thank you couldn't get it all right, Ben Wilson Center, Board of Directors, two positions. Um, I'd like to nominate Kathleen Byrne. I'll second that, Mr. Chair. Uh, we'll call a question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Is there a second? Second. For a second appointment? <laughs> a second appointment? Yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave that open for the time being. Uh, now we move on to appointment of supervisor liaison members. Um, so the first uh, appointment would be the supervisor liaison to the planning commission. And um, I would like to nominate Judy Hoover. I'd like to second that. Is there, um, uh, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Congratulations, Judy. And by the way, what I'd like to see, um, I know in my time in all the committees and the councils that I've been on, um, I'd like to see a little more activity from the Board of Supervisors in these liaison positions, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm sure that we all want to do. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue on. Okay. So motion to appoint a supervisor liaison to the Zoning Hearing Board. I'd like to nominate Kathy Frescatore. I'll second that. Uh, call a question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Uh, is there a motion to appoint a supervisor liaison to the municipal authority? I would like to appoint Kathy Fre or nominate Kathy Frescator. I'll second it. Uh, call a question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Congratulations, Kathy. Thank you. Uh, is there a motion to appoint a supervisor liaison to the library board? I'd like to nominate Mary Owens. Is there a second? I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Uh, is there a motion to appoint a supervisor liaison to the Environmental Advisory Council? Yeah, I'd like to nominate Ken Hayes. I'll second that. Okay, so we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Thank you. Um, is there a motion to appoint supervisor liaison to the Golf Advisory Committee? I would like to uh, nominate Mark McKee. Second. Uh, he okay. loves golf. Call the question. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. <laughs> All right. A motion to appoint Supervisor Liaison to the Parks and Recreation Committee. I'd like to um, nominate Mary Owens. Second. I'll second. Okay. Call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Congratulations, Mary. All right, so now we go to the supervisor liaisons to the YMCA partnership initiative. So do we have a motion to 
to appoint two supervisor liaisons to the uh, YMCA the partnership initiative. I'd like to nominate Mark McKee. Is there a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Fair votes aye. Is there a second appointment? Nomination? Yeah, I'd like to nominate Mary Owens. Okay, second. Second. Okay, call the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Votes aye. aye. Congratulations again, Mary. Okay, so we have a position open for the supervisor liaison to the Ben Wilson Senior Activity Center. Um, now it says here, not necessary if Board of Supervisor, Board of Supervisor members appointed non-voting member. I'm not sure what that means, Mr. Schuster. So earlier you did make an appointment to the Ben Wilson uh, senior Center. Uh, it's a non-voting member, and so you could have chosen to appoint a supervisor to to that position. Uh, however, so it, since it's non-voting, um, I really don't think it matters whether it's a liaison position or actually a member of of the board. So that's that's all that that is. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Um, so um, I would like to nominate Judy Hoover. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Fair votes. Aye. Congratulations, Judy. Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Judy. <laughs> I was it's close to nickname. giving it away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, is there a motion to appoint two supervisor members to the Economic Development Committee? Kenneth Hayes. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And chair votes aye. Thank you. Um, I would like to, if I may, uh, nominate Kathy Frescatore to that position. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes <coughs> aye. Uh, motion to appoint two supervisor members to the Pension Investment Advisory Committee. Um, okay. I'd like to nominate Judy Hoover. Is there a second? Second. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Um, call a question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Um, is there a second appointment motion? Uh, I'd like to nominate Kenneth Hayes. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Call a question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. <laughs> Okay, I don't, um, the um, advisory township facilities, we're going to table that. We're just not going to appoint anybody at this time. Okay, we're going to um, leave that open at this point. The um, supervisor members to the advisory township facilities subcommittee. Why well, is there no one that wants to serve on that or? Why, why would, you, we, would you like to serve on it? Yeah, I have for the past couple oh, of years. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Yeah, I'd be glad sure. to do it. Okay. All right. you want. We only meet qu quarterly anyway. You know. Okay. Thank I you, didn't Mark. know that the, Thanks, I, Mark. I didn't see any letters. I want to nominate so, yeah. myself. No, that's fine. I, I actually, I will nominate Thank Mr. Thank you, McKay. Mr. Chairman. I will second that. Madam Vice Chair. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Votes aye. Congratulations, Mark. I'm sorry for that oversight. All right. Okay, so now at this point, I think we have most of our appointees taken care of. And I would like to turn the um, rest of the meeting business over to uh, Mr. Schuster. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, continuing with the typical business of reorganization, I'll pick up on number seven on the agenda, which is to establish the township depositories. I'd recommend a motion to designate First National Bank of Newtown as a township depository for calendar year 2020 or other institutions to invest in as may be deemed necessary for the best interest, uh, best possible interest rates, including M&T Bank, TD Bank, Pennsylvania Local Government Investment Trust, also known as Pliget. PNC Bank, TD, Ameritrade Trust Company, and U.S. Bank. Okay. Um, so do we have a motion to establish the township depositories? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second? Second. Okay. Call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. And number eight, Mr. Chairman, is to set the bond of the treasurer and the assistant treasurer. I'd uh, recommend a motion to set that bond at $2 million. Okay, motion to set the treasurer's bond at $2 million. Motion. Second. Second. Uh, call the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. 
Next on the agenda is number nine to establish the regular schedule of public meetings. Uh, the format will change slightly uh, for the month of January. After this meeting, the only other meeting listed on the calendar would be Thursday, January 23rd. Uh, the reason for the change in the normal cycle is because I believe the board will want to reopen the budget and have sufficient time to advertise said budget. If we had the normal meeting, which would be the third, the, the third Thursday of the month, you would have insufficient time uh, to act on that budget. So January 23rd <coughs> would give you enough time. The rest of the year is the normal schedule or the, the, the schedule that's been in the past practice of having the first and third Thursday of the month. Uh, however, it is uh, my understanding uh, that the board will likely change uh, the pattern in that uh, typically the first <coughs> Thursday meeting had been canceled if there is a lack of business uh, that will now be changed to canceling the third Thursday meeting if there is a lack of business. But again, you would be adopting it tonight, the first and third Thursday of every single month, other and, than January. And the only question I had on that was that won't affect our billing cycle. Uh, it'll change our internal processes, uh, so now it won't affect the, the billing cycle. We'll just have to go ahead and change how things come I through. Make sure Mr. Flager yep. gets paid on time. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people need to get paid on time. The the, the only thing that I, I would say it would. Um, uh, delay uh, is the monthly financial report. Uh, normally by the third Thursday of the month you do get that financial report. Um, what we'll do is as soon as that report is ready we'll send it out via email and then can be discussed at the next meeting. But when you do see at the next meeting uh, it will be a number of weeks past the, the closing date of, of the month. Okay so uh, is there a motion to establish the following dates? Um, the dates as noted by Mr. Schuster as the regular public meeting calendar. Motion. Second? Second. Okay, call a question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. And the next one, Mr. Chairman, number 10 is to set and affirm the calendar year 2029 CBA Township Holidays. Uh, holidays, for the most part, are governed by collective bargaining agreements. Uh, these are the holidays that are set for those who are not, those employees who are not uh, covered by a collective bargaining agreement. There are 11 holidays, as noted uh, in, your, uh, in your packet. Okay, thank you, Mr. Schuster. Uh, is there a motion to establish the holiday schedule as noted? Motion. Second? Second. Uh, call the question all in favor. Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Mr. Chairman, number 11 on the agenda would be affirming the township meeting policy. Uh, based on feedback received, there is a proposed change to the meeting policy. Uh, two changes, in fact. The first change would be reducing the length of public comment per individual from five minutes to three minutes during the public comment section. And the second one would be eliminating public comment during the business meeting. So you would have public comment at the beginning of the meeting in which citizens can comment on any matter. At that point, public comment would be closed. You would conduct your business, and you would still have public comment at the end of the meeting. Um, unless the solicitor corrects me, the, the legal standard is you must have public comment before you're taking any action, and you can accomplish that by having public comment at the beginning of the meeting. Okay. So let me get this straight then. In layman's terms, when we do take action and we make a motion here on the floor, normally we say any comment from the board, any comment from the public, we won't be doing that anymore. That's what the policy says. However, I believe there's a caveat in there that still leaves some discretion to the chair. All right, but, but it's policy that we're not going to allow that. That is correct. Yeah, I, I can't agree with that. Okay, so um, is there a motion to, ad to adopt the policy? Motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, uh, call the question, all in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? I'm a no. Mr. Chair. Chair votes aye. Uh, carries 4-1. The twelfth item on the agenda, Mr. Chairman, is to elect delegates uh, to and, and voting delegates to the PSAS Educational Conference and Convention. So I'd recommend a motion to designate each township supervisor and the township manager as delegates uh, to the PSATS uh, Convention and appoint Mr. Hayes as the voting delegate. So moved. I'll second that. Second. <laughs> I'm keeping your record intact. Mm -hmm. I had his name on there. So. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll call the question all in favor. Aye. aye. <laughs> Chair votes aye. Thank you very much. I'm sure I will get plenty of enlightenment out of that. You'll love it. 
And Mr. Chairman, move on to number 13, new business, a number of items, again, uh, perfunctory uh, for reorgan reorganization meetings. Uh, a would be consider approval of resolu resolution 2020-1, setting the police officer's contributions to the pension fund. Is there a motion? Motion. Second? Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Item B, I'm sorry. Motion's carried, right? Motion carried. Yes, sir. 5-0, yes. Sorry about that. Uh, B is approval of resolution 2020-02, uh, setting at will employee contributions to the pension fund. Okay, do we have a motion for resolution 2020-02? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second? Second. Okay, call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. 5-0. Item C is approval of resolution 2020-03, uh, setting the warmest potential contributions to the defined compensation pension fund. Motion. Okay. Second. Second. Call the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Your votes aye. 5-0. Item D is approval of resolution 2020-04, uh, setting the ASME local 2289 WEDIO employee contributions to the pension fund. Motion. Second. I'm sorry. Kathy, second. Okay, call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Item E is approval of resolution 2020-05, setting Ask Me Local 1598 employee contributions to the pension fund. Motion. Second. Okay, call the question. Chair votes or uh, <laughs> all in favor? Aye. aye. And the chair votes aye. Five zero. Item F, approval of resolution 2020-06, appointing the designated township representative for the Bucks County Tax Collection Committee, which would be Finance Director John Marcarelli as the primary, myself as the secondary, and the Assistant Township Manager as tertiary. Motion. Second. Second. Okay, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. 5-0. Item G is resolution 2020-07, appoint a township manager as the chief administrative officer of the police slash non-uniform pension plans. Motion. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. 5-0. Last item, item H is approval of resolution 2020-08, adopting the 2020 fee schedule, effective January 1, 2020. Uh, there are changes to the fee schedule, as there are every single year. Uh, those were highlighted in a, um, a memo to you in case you have any questions. Is there a motion? Motion. Second. Second. Are there any questions <laughs> about the fee schedule? Okay, so we're seeing no questions. We'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item number 14. Um, typically, this is the treasurer's report, but the treasurer's only been here for a few minutes, so I'll take it for this round. Thank uh, you. <laughs> would be approval of the supplemental bill list dated December 31st, 2019, in the amount of $1,635,171.96. Motion. Second. Second. Okay, call the question all in favor. Aye. aye. Chair aye. votes aye. Number 15 is consider approval of the December 2019 slash year end transfers. Motion. Second. Second. Uh, okay, call the question all in favor. Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. 5 0. <coughs> Mr. Chairman. The last uh, order of business uh, on the agenda for this evening uh, is the 2020 budget. Uh, the board ha has the right to reopen the budget after a municipal election. So it's something you can do uh, every other year, only after a <laughs> municipal election, which of course this would qualify. Uh, it has been uh, relayed to me uh, that it is the incoming or the majority of the incoming board's desire uh, to reopen the 2020 budget uh, and put forth an alternate budget, a proposed budget. <coughs> that budget would have to go ahead and be duly advertised and adopted at a future meeting. So if that is the board's intention, I would recommend moving to item A. Uh, which is uh, a motion to reopen the 2020 uh, budget. If that motion passes, I will go over the changes uh, in the, uh, the proposed budget uh, for advertisement. Motion. Okay, thank you, Mr. Second. Schuster. So motion by 
Express Couture, second by Judy. Okay. Um, any questions? <coughs> okay, with seeing none, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? I'm a no. Okay, chair votes aye. Motion carries 4 1. Right, item B, Mr. Chairman, will be authorized to advertise the 2020. Board of Supervisors proposed budget. Uh, you have all been provided with a copy of said budget. Uh, I'll go over the highlights uh, of that, that budget. Um, there is a, a number of changes. Uh, the largest changes you would see a mill re... Uh, actually, let me, before I do that, let me just back up a second and say that the budget that was passed at the end of last year by the previous board uh, was predicated on the sale of the sewer and water system. Uh, I've been advised that uh, the incoming, the majority of the incoming board uh, doesn't want to do that at this juncture, uh, wants to look at other uh, alternatives. Um, without the sale of the sewer and water system, there is a huge and growing deficit uh, that needs to be addressed. Uh, if uh, you recall in the previous budget presentations that I have done, I did make a recommendation to sell the sewer and water system. I also made a recommendation that um, if that was not to occur or if the board felt uh, it was going to be significantly delayed, uh, that it should increase the general fund mill rate uh, to 19, which is the legal maximum. Uh, accordingly, the budget that's uh, before you would increase the general fund mill rate uh, 7.91 mills, uh, which would increase the millage up to 19, the absolute uh, legal maximum. All the other mill rates, uh, which some of which did have increases uh, in the previous budget that was adopted, uh, would remain the same as the adopted budget. Uh, there would be a redistribution of pilot funds uh, proportionally based on how the taxes uh, fell. Uh, you would also see a removal of the proceeds from the sale of the sewer and water system, removal of the establishment of an OPEB trust, uh, the pension liability payoff, and savings transfer using the proceeds of any sale. Uh, we would uh, pay the police pension at the market value, uh, which is the appropriate thing to do. However, we're still using an assumed rate of return of 8%, which we all recognize is, is too high. The non-uniform pension payment would continue at the smoothing method with an additional payment of $182,853. Uh, the reason why we're not going all the way to market value is that number allows us to balance the budget. Any higher, we would have to dip in uh, further to general fund. Um, there would see an addition of the post-retirement health care costs uh, to a number of funds, cons uh, the general fund, library fund, and the parks and rec fund as we are going back to the pay-go method. Uh, and there would be a slight increase in appropriation of fund balance in the library fund uh, to balance that budget out. So those are the changes that would occur uh, based on the feedback that I have received. Okay. So is there a motion to authorize to advertise the 2020 um, Board of Supervisors proposed budget? Motion. As amended, yes. As amended, yes. Yes. Second? Second. Okay, any, any, any questions? And ju just to be clear, you're not actually amending the, the previous budget. You're passing a, a new budget. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Schuster. Is there any questions or comments on, on this? Um, seeing none, we're going to call the question. All in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? I'm a no, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Then chair votes aye. Motion carries 4 1. And the last item, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, as you're aware, uh, there is a 14 mil maximum uh, on the general fund. To go higher than 14 mils, you need uh, authorization from the Court of Common Pleas. Uh, they can give you relief up to 19 mils, which is this budget is anticipating. Accordingly, I would request that you pass resolution 2020-09, which is authorizing the solicitor, uh, solicitor to position the court for the mill rate increase. Okay, is there a motion to uh, authorize the solicitor to petition the court? Motion. Second? Second. Uh, any questions or comments? Uh, seeing none, we'll call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? I'm a no, Mr. Chairman. Chair votes aye. Motion carries 4-1. Okay, so with, with that, um, we will open it up to public comment for non-agenda items. Sure. It is an agenda item, but I need direction from my office. Okay. Okay. 
I, I know exactly what's I can I, can, yeah. I think I, I was actually going to send you an email after this was passed so uh, the answer to your presumed question is no you cannot send out the tax bills uh, until the budget is passed furthermore that's not my question okay I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> that's good good guess though <laughs> I'll shut up now <laughs> I know I can't do that my question is the millage that you passed tonight when you go to vote on it it can't go any higher than that I need some direction because houses are going to go for sale and I need to give them some kind of direction as to the highest it could go so that they keep enough in escrow they keep enough when they sell these houses so as far as the the, the millage yes well for the general fund it can't go any higher and so well we I need the total millage oh do, do we have that number well, we can get you that number. It would be 19 on the general fund plus all the others. But we can get you that number. Yeah. I mean, so then when I do the tax certifications, I can say the budget isn't passed. The highest it can go is this so that they can withdraw it, have it. Yes, we, we can provide you that number. Okay. And I also need uh, the lighting. Yes. Because I've had people going for a sale this week, and I haven't mm -hmm. been able to give them the information they need to sell their houses. Okay. Yep. We'll get that over to you. Okay. okay. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks, Thanks Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. All right, well, hopefully we get the township finances in order and, um, and um, we're able to, my hope is that we actually lower the millage rate in the upcoming um, year or so, but one thing we must do is we must explore all the options. I know when I was on the budget committee with, with, um, with Mr. Welsh and and Mike, um, we we spent a lot of hours, and, and Nora too as well, spent a lot of hours um, coming up with a lot of different um, options that we could, uh, that, that we would like to explore. And until then, we, we're going to choose the best path for the residents and everyone, but we need some time to do that, right. to finalize our plan to, to save the township. So uh, with that, we'll um, non-agenda items, public comment. Okay, so uh, none tonight. Um, next up would be the manager's announcements of upcoming meetings. Mr. Schuster. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, the next meeting, January 23rd at 7 p.m. Uh, the only thing I have at the moment for the agenda for consideration is the budget. Okay. All right, that's it. So, um, supervisor's comments. Mr. McKay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have a few. I, I know we talked about it earlier. I'd like to send out my condolences to the Fitzpatrick family. Mike was a very good man. And Mike Crispino, this is a difficult one for me because he was a close personal friend of mine. It's said in his obituary that he treated the customers like family and nothing could be truer. I've been a regular in his store. In fact, Judge Finella will tell you I hold court in there every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. But from the first time that I had gone in there, he has always treated me like that, always. And when I was having my battle with cancer, he would always grab me aside and ask me how I was feeling. And, and it's just a terrible tragedy how much this man suffered. And he always, always was right up front with the Warminster Rotary Club whenever we needed donations or anything around town. He was really a, a good man to be sorely missed. So my condolences go out to the Crispinos. <coughs> and the only other comment I have, Mr. Chairman, is I... I've been thinking about this all night, how I'm going to phrase this, how disappointed I am in losing the majority here and, and going from a four-to-one board to a four-to-one board, and, and I'm come, having a hard time coming to grips with it, that you realize four years ago we had a four-to-one majority of bald men on this board, <laughs> and it's all gone now. It's gone the other way. We had a solid majority of bald men, right, there. <laughs> we did. We had Mr. Cantor and Mr. McCulloch and, and Mr. Crowley and even recently Mr. Monroe. So I, I sit here as the only bald guy left, so please have some, have some, have some pity and some mercy, please. And that, that's all I have tonight. Sure. And something else to note that there's – only two men here now. There's uh, oh, that's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. So congratulations there. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And good, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have no comment this time. Okay. I just want to thank everybody for supporting us and coming tonight, and I hope that we can do the very best for you. And um, just remember, nice women never make history. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> so, so I thought I should point that out before we start. Okay. Except for Mother Teresa, right? Except for Mother <laughs> Teresa. Is that it, Judy? Yes, that's it. Thank you. It's an honor to serve. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for their support. And uh, it, it, like Mr. McKee said, it's, it's, it's a new board. Uh, I've been the only female on the board. The gentleman treated me very well, but it's nice to have camaraderie with my, my fellow women supervisors. I'm very excited. And uh, to Judy's comment, we will work very, very hard and tirelessly to find solutions uh, for the township. We, we will explore every situation before selling our most valuable assets. And uh, just thank you again for all of your support. And Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Thanks, Ms. Ms. Couture. And <clears throat> finally, for myself, um, I'd just like to say that um, I'm humbled and honored to serve the, the community, and I'm honored to uh, be appointed chair. And uh, we do have quite a lot to do here. This is this is um, this is quite a challenge we stepped into, um, but together, I seriously and earnestly believe that we can um, put Warminster back on solid footing and, and make this to continue to be a great place to live and raise your family. And with that, that's, that's it for me. Well said. Okay, so. Motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. <laughs> so moved, Mr. Chairman. Says Thanks the who. <laughs> Thank you.